How hot was it in China, in Shanghai, in the ghetto? It was so hot that Yom Kippur, that the Rosh Hashivas were goyza. No one was to wear their jacket, their tie, their hat during davening on Yom Kippur. So the entire yeshiva davened in their shirt sleeves, except for one Malach Hashem Tzvokos, the Mashkiach, Reb Chatzko Levenstein Zatzal. He davened with his kapota and talus over his head the entire 25-hour period of Yom Kippur, from Mayriv into Shachris, Shachris into Musav, Shmonesrei into Mincha, into Nila. Hashem or Kim, he's still davening. He's still davening. The Bochum decided, how can they repay their Hela Gerebbe? They said they would make Avdola, break their fast, and rush back to the base Medrash. And 400 Bochrim took their seats and started learning with the intensity of a second Seder. Vratzkel finally finished Oyster Sholem Ben Roimov, Huyaseh Sholem Oleinu. He turns around, he sees the Bochrim. He's so inspired that he walks up to the Bima and he says the following We put in the Yom Kippur of a lifetime. We davened so stark. But what's going to be two weeks from now, or a month from now? Back to Bittel, to Lashon Hara, he said the following. It was a very wealthy man who envisioned this magnificent castle, mansion he would build. He contracted the best architects. He got marble from Italy and the finest building material, and they erected this magnificent mansion that the world had never seen. And as they completed building this mansion, he told the foreman of the crew, I want to put the Bobble on top of the highest spire. They erected a scaffolding. He climbed to the top of the building. He was leaning over to put this bauble on top of the building to crown his mansion. And a gust of wind came and blew him off the scaffolding. And he tumbled to the ground. And he's lying on the ground surrounded by family and friends. And he's crying, Mein Binyan gefallen. Mein Binyan gefallen. My building has fallen. My mansion has crashed to the ground. And they reassured him, Your building hasn't fallen. You've fallen. We'll patch you up and you'll enjoy the building for a lifetime. So Reb Chatzkel, that moment of Hashem or Kim is eternal. It's a mansion, it's a castle in Shemayim that lasts forever. We may fall two weeks, three weeks, a month from now. That is what Vayimayin is all about. That moment of truth, of resilience, the ability to hold back, to control oneself, one's eyes, one's passions, even for a moment that will never be taken away from us. That's the life. It's a series of such moments. The Yitzhahare tries to tell us for what purpose? So you're a good boy or a good girl for a minute, for an hour, for a day, for a week. But we know who you are. That's not who you are. We are defined by those moments, by that castle, by that mansion, of that passion that we've conquered, the passion of having Kedusha the passion of serving HaKadosh Baruch Hu, of recognizing that we can control our thoughts, our minds, our hearts, our eyes. Let's strengthen ourselves. Let's continue building magnificent edifices in the sky. We will enjoy both in this world and the next. HaKadosh Baruch Hu should be made to, everyone should be inspired to strengthen themselves in this Avodah Hashem, in Kedusha Sinayim, will be zeichah to the greatest simcha in the world, coming of Mashiach Tzedkenu, Amen.